Okay, my friend Steve has recorded his vocal tracks. He recorded two of them, a uh, main vocal and a harmony track. And we're going to play a little bit of this for you uh, dry, solo it. And uh, he may sound a little funny, and it's because it's dry. When you see me, but just a 24 minute from midnight, I completely... I don't know if you can hear that or if you noticed, but when he said completely, the P sounded like a kick drum. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, create a loop here and then put an equalizer on the uh, on the track to get rid of that low end. Knew that the time was right. Yeah, my knew the time was right. I am ready when you see me. But just a 24 minute from midnight, I completely knew that the time was right. Yeah, my knew the time was right. I am ready when you see me. Matt got rid of the uh, kick drum P. Me. Try the right. box steady again. Yeah, my knew the time was right. I am ready when you see me but just a 24 minute from midnight i complete also you want to do the stereo effect as explained earlier with a uh, widening plug-in of some type um again i use the pseudo stereo and i like the preset overheads too so you should notice the stereo width of this track starts to uh come out and, and a little more noticeable <laughs> Noon at the time was right. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to put in would be a reverb. Make him sound not so dry. Yeah, my noon at the time was right. I am red when you see me. But just a 24 minute from midnight, I completely. Noon at the time was right. Yeah, my noon at the time was right. I am red when you see me. But just a 24 minute from. Okay, let's see what that sounds like with the music. Did you see me? But just a 24 minute. Sounds pretty good for a rough mix. And the second vocal, I think I already had everything on there, so I'll take it all out and start over. Basically, what you want to do is repeat the same thing you, you did on the first one. So um, I think I started off with the, uh, what did I start off with? The compressor. And I know I dueled that and cut the low and pulled it up some. And then the Acoustica Equalizer to pull out the frequencies that the human voice does not duplicate or produce. And then the Reverb. I think that was set at 9. That was 0. And that was pulled up somewhat. Let's make sure that's about the same. 57 and 9. You want to match those so that your uh, harmonies carry on the exact same amount of time as the uh, lead vocal. And the stereo effect, which I need to move up. And choose overheads 2. Now if I add these two together and solo them. When you see me. Mm -hmm. 
Seem to have a lot of hiss on that second one. So we'll try to get that out with an equalizer. Loop that. I completely. Let's uh, zero in on just the hissing. some of those out as well by pulling out some of those other frequencies on the harmony vocal it helps it to uh, sit in the background instead of on top of the the uh, lead vocal so it can't hurt to pull a few of those down and let's see what we've got here what you see me but just a 24 minute from midnight I completely knew that the time was right okay let's hear that with the music see what it sounds like click save once in a while what you see Okay, once you've got a mix that you're fairly happy with, then you're going to want to export this. And before doing that, um, you want to do a little bit of mastering. <laughs> 